Hello and welcome. I'm so excited to be here because today we finally get to take a look at Strapi Cloud. We're going to have some excellent videos for you to make sure you can get started with Strapi Cloud quickly. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the Strapi Cloud admin UI so you know your way around when using Strapi Cloud. Oh my gosh, I probably can't say Strapi Cloud enough in this video. In the next video though, we're going to deploy our very, very first project. So I'm really, really excited for that. But first, let's learn our way around Strapi. We are going to get started by going to cloud.strapi.io slash login. You will click login with GitHub to authorize your account and login. I already followed the steps. After you do, you will be greeted with our super, but simple and clean Strapi admin UI. The first thing you're going to see is this projects view. If you have a project already, this is where you're going to find it. Otherwise, you'll see a nice big button that says, go ahead and create your first project, which we are going to do in the next video. But for now, let's start by clicking on our avatar and looking at our profile section. Here, you will find your general information, such as your account, registered name, which is going to be based off your GitHub. You will be able to find your preferences where you're able to change the light theme or dark theme, whatever mode you prefer. Today, I'm going to stick with the light theme. And more importantly here, you could find your billing information. If you need to make any changes to your credit card information or manage your subscription, you will click this button. You'll be asked to provide your email to authorize your login and where you'll be able to make the necessary changes. But I'm not going to do that today. You're also going to have the ability to, from this view, to update your first name, your last name, your company name, your email, as well as your address. To navigate back to the previous page, you could go ahead and click on the Strapi logo. Once you're here, you could click on the three dots of the project where you could either visit your app and check out your Strapi admin UI once you deployed your application, which we'll cover in details in following videos. You could also click on go to the deploys or go to settings. Another way to get to these views is to click on the Strapi project card here, and you will have those same items, deploys and settings available here. Let's first start with settings. If you click on settings, here you're going to see your general information of your project, like your name, and then the GitHub branch that your project is deployed from. This is also the place where you could delete your project, but please don't delete a project that you don't mean to delete. The good news, if you click delete, it will ask you to type delete to confirm. So we definitely got you covered by not having you accidentally delete your amazing Strapi project. You could also check out the variables tab where you will find all the necessary variables that you need to get started with your project. If you have additional variables, you could add them from this screen nice and easy. More importantly, when you set up your initial project, the initial environmental variables will be provided for you automatically, unless you want to update them here yourself. Here we could take a look at our billing section where you get to see the current plan that you have. I'm using the pro account. We will talk more details on what the plan covers in later videos. And again, you could click on the manage subscription button to be able to manage your credit card information and your subscriptions. And you could also see your usage here of database entries that you are using and the storage that you have available. Let's go back to our deploy section. And here you can see your project that is deployed. You could see the green marker here saying that everything is amazing and great. If you click on the link here, it's going to take you to the commit of the current deploy of your project. And here you could see all the detailed information of your initial commit. Clicking on the three little dots, we could see the details button. Once you click on it, you're going to see all the real-time logs of your currently running application, as well as you can see your deployed logs to check if you do run into issues. This is where you're going to see the logging information. 
Or you could also check out your build logs, which are all happening in real time. And you'll see this in action when we deploy our first application. But this makes it fairly easy for you to see if anything goes wrong with your Strapi project. With that being said, if something does go wrong, we have this help button that you could click. You could search for topics that you are looking to troubleshoot. You might have some already great solutions available to you that could help you solve your problem. But if you're still having a hard time, you could actually go ahead, click on the open support ticket button and add your information. Make sure that you provide a clear subject, the type of the issue that you are having, and more importantly, give us a great description to help us help you troubleshoot the issue. Provide screenshots if you have them to give us more contacts. Click I'm not a robot and submit to submit your issue. And we'll be more than happy to help you get along. And now we could navigate back to our main window by clicking on the Strapi logo. And as you saw, we have a very clean UI, very easy to find things. If you do want to take a look at our documentation or join our community, you could use these following tabs. Now, at the time of recording this video, our Strapi Cloud documentation is still in beta, but when you are going to be watching this video, this should all be updated and finalized for you. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Now, I hope you enjoyed this quick overview of the Strapi Cloud admin. I wanted to get this section out of the way first so we could jump in right into the most important things, which is deploying our project and answering questions that you may have around the deployment process. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next way. Take care and have a good one.